All right guys, it's really hot out here, but welcome to another Motor Monday. And today we're gonna do something a little bit different than what we have been doing. Um, in the past couple weeks, we've been showing you motors and uh, just telling you their background and all that. But today we're gonna go ahead and bring out two motors that we've shown you in the past. We're taking out our contract motor, the T Eaton, and we have our four horsepower Nelson Brothers. And in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and do what we call a cam knock competition. And what that is, is every time the motor goes through the four stroke cycle the cam will go and smack this bearing and make a little knocking sound and when we're running our motors at shows we like to see how many times we can get it to go through the cycle before it hits again normally when it's kind of warm out and we got the motor set up right we can average around 30 or so with this one we're averaging about 17 with this one so we pulled the motors out earlier today um had them sitting in the sun to try and warm them up because we can usually get a lot more knocks out of them when it's hot and now we're going to see how many we can actually do on film so i guess the first one we're going to try is the uh little t eaton over here see if we can actually hit 17 with it um just for saying we are not running springs on either set of the governors and we're running the throttle set in pretty much their slowest runnable position Alrighty guys, so we've got our first motor cranked up. We're gonna let it get through this cycle and then start counting. All right, so if you're listening to the motor, you're in here making a clicking sound. Click, click, click. That clicking sound means that the motors ran through one uh, cycle of the four stroke cycle. What we're gonna do is we're gonna listen and see how many times it will go through that four stroke cycle. And we're aiming to see about 20 out of this one. So ready? One, two, three, four, five. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so we hit 20 out of this old T Eaton, which is pretty doggone good because we normally average only 17. So when I'm talking about the four stroke cycle, the four stroke cycle is basically intake, compression, power, and exhaust. And what that means is, Say we'll take this motor. Right now, it's going up on the compression stroke. So when it gets to the top, that's when the spark plug's gonna fire and it's gonna send the piston back with all its force. That is your power stroke. Then when the piston comes back around, it's all of a sudden pushing all these gases that just made it explode out through the exhaust valve. And when it's done with that and the piston's on the coming back in, it's creating a vacuum inside the cylinder and pulling air and gas in with it just for it to turn back around and hit the compression stroke again. And each time it does that, this cam's gonna knock this exhaust valve one time. And when it hits the exhaust valve, that's what would simulate the exhaust valve actually opening. So each knock you hear means the piston's actually going in and out of the cylinder twice. So if we're hitting 20 knocks with the T Eaton over here, that means the piston's traveled back and forth 40 times before between hits. So which is pretty cool and pretty impressive. So now let's go ahead and get set up and see how our Nelson Brothers does. We're hoping to average about 30 to 35 with the Nelson Brothers if we're lucky. Um, we've seen 36 and 38 out of it before, but it was probably like 103 when it was doing that. It's not quite as hot out here. So we're gonna let it cycle through once. 
like it just did, you get it steam built up. And this next time around, we're going to go ahead and count how many knots it's going to do. If it's a good lick. If it's a good lick. Now it's 31 that time. We'll count it again after it's mixed cycle and see what it'll do. time. So we're hitting about 30 on average out of this 102 year old engine. I don't reckon that's too bad. Considering we also haven't been in the bore or anything with it, this is pretty much all original from what we can tell. All right, guys, so I have both the motors lined up side by side. I'm going to go ahead and crank both of them up and just see how they stack up compared to each other. Of course, our old Nelson Brothers right here will easily beat out the T Eaton, but that's just the difference between four horsepower and one and a half horsepower. We noticed while we were running them, we think we might have some valve leaking going on on this one. So it might not even be hitting as hard as it can. Um, we'll update you one day if, uh, for what we find, if that might be the case or not. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, crank it up. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. If you just like the content and you want to give me a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And if you have any questions about these old engines and want me to answer them, com comment down below. I'm Cody. I'm with MWF Garage, and this is all I got for you guys. See you. Mm -hmm.